right. Well, good afternoon out there. Are you ready for some country music? I want to play a few songs this afternoon, maybe. Um, I haven't really thought about what I want to do, but I want to do a few things that I like. Now, I got the lovely Janice working my camera for me, so this is going to be a, a fun time. So I'm going to start off with a little Merle Haggard thing. I did it on the last CD, and I, um, little video, and I just called it, uh, Tonight the Bottle Let Me Down. It's one of my very favorite songs. Each night I leave the bar room when it's over. Not feeling any pain at closing time. But tonight your memory found. Couldn't drink enough to keep you off my mind. Tonight the bottle let me down and let your memories come around. The one true friend. The bottle let me down. I've always had a bottle I could turn to, and lately I've been turning every day. But the wine don't take effect the way. And I'm hurting that it opened your way. Tonight, the bottle let me down and let your memories come around. The one Jennings and I want to tell you a quick story about when when he first came back started doing music there was a rock and roll uh, producer from New York City can't think of his name his name was John something has a big beard and you may know him some of you and anyway he came to Willen and convinced him to get back into playing and he brought him to New York City first time he'd ever been to New York to play at Carnegie Hall and um, I'm going to tell you exactly what happened. He was worried about going there. These New Yorkers aren't going to like me. He got up on the stage and somebody down in the front row yelled out, Who the hell are you? And his exact quote was, I am Waylon goddamn Jennings and I will kick your ass. The crowd went wild. They loved that outlaw attitude. He played to a standing ovation house. And that's, and that's what got him back into the business again. He, he realized he was still, he still had it. <laughs> so anyway, Waylon Jennings. A long time forgotten dreams that just fed by the way. And a good life he promised ain't what she's living today. 
She never complained for the bad luck, for the bad things he does. She just talks about the good times they've had. Him in spite of his way. 